outdoors surviving. Actually, come on. Blaze well, got the camera in here. What conditions have you actually survived? You know, Mark, I would say uh, the coldest temperature was 45 below zero in Yellowstone. I've survived at 120 degrees or more in the southwest, uh, deserts of the southwest. Probably the biggest situation for me was the skin cancer, though. You know, that, that type of thing that we saw. You've actually even been in an avalanche, you told me. an avalanche. We did an avalanche burial in Denver a year ago. I was buried at a meter deep. <sighs> for 30 minutes just to give folks an idea of how oppressing that snow can and, be. And now you preach the power of, of covering yourself with good clothes. Good clothes. And I, and I brought this because so many people hear the <coughs> Gore-Tex fabric, Mark. I'll have you put this on. This is an actual Gore-Tex Brembe. Nine billion pores per square inch in the Gore-Tex fabric. But here's the deal. The pores are so small, it won't let rain or wet snow in, but large enough to let our perspiration escape. When you think that the human body will donate its heat 23 times faster when it's wet than when it's dry, you need something with the Gore-Tex fabric. doesn't matter what company. I'm wearing Arteryx. You can pick anybody. This, I thought, was pretty cool. When it comes to skin cancer, I need to be particularly careful now about the time I spend out in the sun. I found this... And, and actually, everybody does. Everybody does. Even if you don't have skin cancer, believe me, you don't want And it. even when you don't think you're in the sun, per se. Absolutely. And that's why I brought this from a company called Field & Stream. I uh, actually got it at Dick's Sporting Goods. Ultraviolet protection factor of 40. This is like wearing sunblock in your clothes. Ultraviolet protection is for apparel. Blocks 40%. It's an excellent block of the sun's harmful UV rays. But then, sun protection factor in sunblock is what you would put on your skin itself. Right. And we think it's we think it's only for the beach, but but it really isn't. It, no, all all types of conditions. And remember, like we're on a, a dirt or a sand. If you're on the snow, if you're out on the water, it reflects. Go great. It reflects. It so reflects. Even if I have a great hat on. Those ultraviolet rays will hit the surface, reflect back up. You can have the best gear if you don't have sunblock to go along with. Now, sun he's going, going to every state in the union and. And, uh, and he's doing it with solar power and bio diesel and uh, we're going to go and, ahead and look up. Uh, uh, Blaze had some tough time this morning with this tire, so we're going to go ahead and put some. All right. So before we get on the road, can we go to every state with you as I well? Would love that. I You're think so. Warrior, and we can check tough. you on your website. You can and check your progress and check your progress. See our Thanks stories here, actually. Spot and Google Maps. You'll be able to see all the different uh, places that we're visiting. All right. And, and have folks send me an email. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> All right, we're having some audio difficulty like there. But we'll check in with the guys campers. I can see Mark around the campfire, maybe huge cooking up a little. <laughs> well, maybe roasting marshmallows. Davy Crockett here is with me. He's an adventurer and a survivalist. <laughs> this is called Spot, right? And so uh, let's say we're in the the wilds and we're lost. We don't have cell phone service out there, but what would this do? Well, you know, I think we should address the marshmallow concern, because <laughs> unlike a lot of uh, uh, personal rescue devices, this is the first one, the personal tracking system, that it'll call 911 if you need it to. You hit one of the buttons here, uh, hit one of the bigger buttons, and it'll dial a rescue team. But let's say you're out and you need some marshmallows. There's also one where you can ask for help and just say, hey, I'm going to be at the trailhead. I ran out of hot dogs and, and marshmallows, and like you can hit it. But here's what I wanted to show you. What I did this morning was send the OK message, telling folks, I'm OK, I'm going to be a little late this morning. Just I'm checking. Out, just checking. And here's what it did. It sent an email and a text that gave me the actual Latin long. Mark, you know where that is. Wow. Here we are right here in the Piedmont park. Park. Piedmont Park. So with the spot unit, I was able to send a signal up saying, I'm OK, don't worry about me. Loved ones are able to download. That's the actual Latin long in a picture of where we are right now. Now, now you have survived some pretty amazing conditions as you show us this, this uh, medical uh, kit. The first aid kit. I throw the spot unit in. It's so small. I told you the two things that we use. That'll drop right in. But I picked this from Adventure Medical Kits, Mark, designed by a medical doctor, hospital quality instruments. But what I did, look at this. When you open it up on the inside, it'll say wound care, sprains. The easy care system, there's a three by five card in each compartment saying, here's what you do. Slow down, take a deep breath. When you're in a panic situation, that's not when you want to take a first aid kit, dump it out on the floor and go, how do I uh, put on a bandage? How do I irrigate a wound? With the easy care from Adventure Medical, you follow the card and you'll get through it. Now, now tell me this. Uh, you, we may be in conditions where we don't have fresh water. Fresh water. This is from a company called Catadine. All of the water on board is purified and filtered by Catadine. I brought a couple of portable models, though. This, the Extreme bottle, has the Virostat cartridge, the filter, the carbons on the inside, knocks out all the little bad guys. You're, you're a former cop who just sort of 
dropped out one day. Dropped out, yeah. It was uh, shortly after my father's suicide. I found myself uh, feeling a good sense of guilt, as a lot of survivors of, of family members that commit suicide do. Found myself uh, spending a lot of time in the woods. And then one day, Mark, I said, there's got to be a more comfortable way. There's got to, you know, taking the roughing it out of roughing it, started studying the gear. And now I'm fortunate to get to travel all over yeah. doing just that. And now he's doing it with solar power and biodiesel. So, all and kinds of cool stuff. He's the real road warrior, I think, as we... <laughs> I haven't been able to think of anything but marshmallows. I hope I get everything else right. As soon as you said marshmallows, I'm like, Darn, that's As long I as I have that 911 button, no, I'm in, I'm in good shape. All right. We're going to take a little more tour around his trailer, which is quite amazing, and, and find our inner self by going outside. outside. All right. All right. All right. We'll check in with you later, Mark.